chamomile. <laughs> this is by far my favorite herb on this entire planet. It has been a lifesaver my entire life um, because I've had digestive issues my entire life because <laughs> I'm allergic to everything. Um, and this is really great if you're stressed out, if you have anxiety, just drink a cup of tea. Uh, if you're not feeling good, a cup of tea. Um, I suffer from IBS and acid reflux hardcore. Um, and this is what I drink specifically at night um, because it really does help, you know, take a couple of tums, throw that heating pad on, drink some chamomile tea. Super easy to grow. Um, you just sprinkle right on top of the dirt and water and they'll root down just fine. Um, this was done from seed and uh, the ones I have on the front which I don't know if I've, I've shown in any of my videos, but that one was started from seed, planted in the front three years ago, and it keeps coming back every year. So it will come back. Um, I always plant a little bit more just because. And uh, you'll always have chamomile. Always. Um, they like well-drained soil, so don't overwater them. I'm, I'm an overwaterer, <laughs> big time. Um, there's the German chamomile and the Roman chamomile, um, and they have this, like, really subtle apple taste to them, or, uh, not taste, I'm sorry, smell. A very, very subtle, like, fresh apple aroma, um, which, which is just beautiful. And they look like little tiny daisies, because they are within the same family, um, I think they're like a cousin of daisies. And they have another cousin, which is wild chamomile, which looks like pineapple. So like the tip of it, or I don't have a chamomile flower. The tip of it looks like, like a cone. And then it has like the little white flowers. When you smash it up, it smells like pineapple. And that is edible as well. So if you're out and about and you're like, man, I'm not feeling so good, but I got this hot water. Or I can make some hot water, but I have no tea. And, you know, you can do that as well. Uh, this herb is is really a lifesaver. Um, you have a headache, go lay down, drink a cup of tea. Um, I, <laughs> I laugh because it used to be mint tea and toast for me. And mint tea is another one of my favorite because it's really good for um, digestive issues as well. Um, if you're bloated, if you have gas... Um, if you like a little spring in your step, I feel like the mint just kind of, you know, um, mint tea and toast, chamomile and toast, um, or crackers because, you know, digestive issues or whatnot. Uh, so this personally is, is, um, an herb I always like to keep in my garden, uh, or, um, wherever, wherever I can grow it. It's, it's just so easy to grow. Very, very easy. Um. So try it out. Try a little chamomile there. Uh, you can mix it with mint. You can mix it with lemon balm, which is also, all those are really good for stress, anxiety. Uh, you know, if you're feeling tired, it's not going to give you energy, but it's, it's going to relax you um, for sleep. Um, lemon balm, mint, chamomile, lavender. I, I love to mix all those together. Sometimes I'll do like just chamomile and mint. Uh, just lavender and chamomile. That, I think, is my all-time favorite mixture. Um, lavender is actually fairly easy to grow now for me. That really I figured out the secret. Um, so I, I love, like, the fresh lavender mixed with the fresh chamomile. Um, and chamomile is really easy to harvest, too. You just pop off the top of the flower, like, you just pinch it right off, and it'll just keep growing and growing and growing. Um, and if you do have it a good environment, like this lovely little tunnel over here, you could probably keep it growing for a while. Um, indoors is a little tough. I'm not quite master of the indoor stuff yet. Um, but I think that's because I don't harden off my plants enough, which means when you harden things off is you put them out for the day 
and then you bring them back in and leave them out a little bit longer the next day, bring them back in. So they kind of get used to the weather. Um, but in here, it's a little bit more controlled. Except for I got bugs. So I don't think that you could can meal. But you don't need to water it a lot, but don't, don't underwater it. Never underwater it because it, it will die. It sits right on the surface and it grows fluffy and big and 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 it really just is a wonderful herb so if you ever get a chance to grow it and try it that way go for it I highly suggest it like I'm probably gonna go have another cup soon I have at least three cups a day so that's that's where I'm at with that <laughs> with that tea so um I usually do dried you can do fresh or dried if you do fresh tea you've got to steep it a little bit longer um, the normal amount of time is like two to three minutes two to three minutes so I, I leave it in there for a long time sometimes I'll just leave it in the whole time I'm drinking it uh, because chamomile really isn't strong like green tea you can only leave green tea in for a few minutes um, otherwise it's like really bitter same thing with any kind of black teas the longer you leave it in, the more bitter it gets. But with herbal teas, like mint, lemon balm, like just straight up herbs, uh, not the fruity ones, just the herbal ones, you can leave them in almost as long as you want. So, um, and that's, that's that. That's today's video on chamomile. So if you like this video, hit that like button. Share with your friends. Share with strangers. Talk about it. Have a conversation. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you later. Have a good weekend.